Granger's setting up a little track over there and here's the joke we're going to play so I've got his pair of fat sharks right here we're going to take them apart and then I'm going to throw him this empty shell as he watches and he thinks his dominators are smashing into the ground so let's do that so anyway hey Granger do you want your goggles now or over there all right Did your heart stop for at least half a second? Sure a second. Okay, well I we... You're not that dog, so... Yeah. There's no way you're actually going to throw me the dog. So. Alright, nice. Keep setting up, Apprentice. Stu from UAV Futures here and today, well, I'm pumped, I'm excited, I think I'm pretty much spitting everywhere, but what we're checking out today, this is the part two review of the Armiton Mahmoud and I know people have been waiting saying, Stuart, where is it? Get this video up. I apologize, that's due to the move, but we're here now, we're set up in the studio. If you haven't seen part one, the bench breakdown, and we're putting a look at the text and the specs, a little card should pop up somewhere here. Thank you very much, YouTube. This is the part two. This is the fun stuff where we take it out, rip it around the field, get the boys to try it, Granger, Grumpy Trev, Dwing Man, John O'Tony, the whole crew checking it out. And I'm going to tell you right now, get set to get stunned. Grab yourself a cup of coffee. You're about to enjoy it because the, if you're into freestyle, you're after a super robust drone that is doing some crazy good stuff and just generally an amazing work of art that's going to take our hobby a long way. Well, you're about to enjoy this video. And a huge shout out to Armiton too, because in part one, congratulations to, I think it's called Hoove Air or something like that. We had a giveaway, so I'll put a picture on the screen. Yeah, you're going to be getting an email or contacting from me. Maybe I've already sent it by the time this video is live. But yeah, congratulations, because in the part one, we had a giveaway and I wasn't expecting this. And this just goes to show what a top company Armiton is because well, they said, Stuart, do you want to give another one away in your part two video? So I was like, yes, I'm sure you subscribers would like another chance to win an Armiton Marmot frame. So definitely check the official rules, drop your comments down below, all that sort of stuff, because someone else in this part two video is going to win another Marmot frame. I'm still having trouble saying the name Marmot, Marmite, but whatever. So there, big shout out to Armiton. They're a really cool company. And yeah, we've got another one to give away to you guys. So thanks very much for them. Uh, but other than that, let's do it. Enough rambling. Let's go out, have some fun, show you some DVR, show you some... HD footage, check all the boys out, what they think, and yeah, you're just gonna have a good time. So let's do it, enough rambling, go have some fun with this freestyle, absolute magnificent work of art in three, two, one. Radio out here in the field, time for the part two review. We've been waiting for it, the Armiton Marmot. So we'll take it out, spin it around, show you some of the other pilot's impression, HD footage, all that sort of good stuff. It's a beautiful day. Let's rock and roll and have some fun with this sexy, sexy craft. All right, let's do it. Okie dokie, here we go on board. I'm going to show you some DVR and then we're going to do things a little bit differently. We're going to be checking out some of Granger's footage as well while we're talking because everybody knows I am not the world's greatest freestyle pilot, but I still want to showcase just what this thing can do while we talk about the frame. So here's my dodgy attempt at freestyle, but while I'm talking, I want to also highlight just how good this thing can be in the air. So we've got some HD footage you can tell straight away with Granger. So you've seen my DVR before, but when he gets on the sticks for a freestyle machine, this thing is absolutely absolutely incredible and yeah so this is his footage you're watching in the background as i'm doing my overview but i want to say as a freestyle drone the one thing i really love about it even though i'm not you know a huge freestyle pilot is just the confidence you have with this thing you can take it you can bash it you know it's going to be super strong and with that warranty you know if worse does come to worse uh well then five bucks you've got yourself a brand new frame which is kind of what you want especially when you're paying a little bit of a premium but i think it's well worth it in this case now, the actual flight characteristics themselves, it's a very, very smooth flight. There's no props in view, nothing like that. I think the HD footage comes out beautiful. What I do like is when you're flying, if you let go of the sticks, it stays in exactly that orientation. There's no drift. There's not very much prop wash. It's just all round, kind of what you want in a freestyle drone. Now, one thing I did notice when I was flying was it was sucking down the juice a little bit more, but maybe that's because I'm used to, Granger's making me nervous there, <laughs> going to fly into himself. But yeah, it was sucking down the juice a little bit more, and that's probably because freestyle frames generally tend to be a little bit 
bit heavier and a little bit less aerodynamic versus some of the racing frames or the track flies that I tend to fly mostly. Now, if you're a hardcore racer as well, this is definitely not going to be for you. If you just want to do flags and fields, that that's not what this frame is about. You'll be much better suited to get like a racing frame or something else that's just, you know, lighter and all that sort of stuff. This is going to be aimed at two people, I think. People who put their quads through an absolute beating and, you know, they're not worried about having to break their quad. They want something really strong, really robust and reliable with great customer service and also the hardcore freestyle pilots because it's a premium frame the people who love freestyle who are flying in some crazy situations want beautiful hd footage and just want to make some amazing memorable flights out there they're not too worried with insane speed even though look it did have plenty of pop but uh yeah it's no racer but it is an absolute freestyle dream but anyway what we should do what do you think about granger's freestyle as well put some love down below and then the kid just decides to do a bit of racing with it as well he's just a bit of a freak so it's definitely a nimble little craft here so thanks for granger for highlighting that as well but overall hats off to armiton i think they've absolutely smashed it out of the park i love what they do for the hobby and for our community they're just one company that keeps pushing great customer service their warranty is the best in the biz but don't just take my word for it i'm sure you know put your comments what's your experiences with armiton like and all that sort of stuff in the comments down below because look they're a uh, they're just a fantastic company but what we should do let's hand it over to the other boys as well see what they think and uh before i get too frustrated at how good grange is flying it's just how can one kid be so talented so quickly? Anyway, let's hand it over to the other boys and see what they think. Alrighty, you grumpy old bugger. What we've got here is, and we're staying in the shade today because it is killer hot, but it's a beautiful day and not too much wind. We've got Armiton's new frame, bit of a sneak peek. So uh, the Marmot, the Marmut, I don't know how to actually pronounce that. But uh, anyway, what's your first impressions? What do you think about Armiton in general anyway? <laughs> okay. I'm going now, Stu. Yeah, that's nice. Give that back. I oh. think that's the only one in the country, but yeah. Uh, look, as usual, it's a work of art again from Armiton. This thing is just so well designed. Look at the carbon on this, guys. Yeah, that is special. That's like some space yeah, grade space carbon. Yeah, space grade right carbon, there. and it's there's little to no flex in that at all. And it looks good too. So the design of these things, look how it covers the back protecting the plate there. Well, I want to know, what do you think about this front sort of design here where the uh, it screws in? Yeah, well, no, no more complaints about adjustment. Look how far you can adjust this thing. It's got a little, a little slot in here. You can slide this thing up and down as much as you want. Really good protection for the camera. You're not going to, look at that. I don't know if you can see that, but that lens is not even poking through the front. I didn't think I'd have another favourite. Yeah, look, I just reckon they've done it again. I just hope it flies as good as it looks. And right, I, what, I don't what, doubt that. One thing I did change though, because I got the bind and fly, this part was coming up through the middle here, and I just put it to the side. So that's the, that's probably the only thing that I changed. And I threw in my own receiver. Alrighty, Trevor, I put a nice fresh pack on there for you. Ready to rock and roll. Let's go. The wind actually has picked up a little bit. And it's away. Oh, it's got plenty of punch. <laughs> It's crazy for a freestyle build. I've, I will admit, I was impressed as well. Oh yeah. So I love it already. Plenty of go. Freestyle, it's just zippy. Oh, it, this is nice. Really, really nice. I'll tell you what, we want to stop. She's just quick across the ground. Oh yeah, I want one. It's going to be hard to break too. You reckon this will be good for? What? Um, all these, uh, what do you call it? The, um, oh jeez. I'm loving this. <laughs> Trevor finishes. This is it? great. Uh, what would it be yeah. good for? Uh, uh, any returns, he's warranty stuff, because it's going to be pretty hard to break one of these, I reckon. That's what I think as well when it comes to, like, yeah. I know a lot of people say they make strong frames, but because he has a warranty on his, they have to be strong. Otherwise, he'd be the one losing out. Yeah. Oh, this is... Oh, look, I tell you, it just feels locked in straight out, straight out of the box. As always. Well, know. it is a bind and fly. I don't know. They've done a bit of special work to it, but yeah. Never had a dud. I mean, this is just, again, they're just up the ante again. So, uh, kudos to Armiton. Oh, this is great. Oh, look, I love flying this already. Do you think you'll be breaking it anytime soon? No. Oh, it's nice. It really is. I just, bloody hell. That's <laughs> a tune, bro. Oh, it's, it's just great. This is... It's quick and it's resp oh f I'm having fun here. Just don't talk to me, please. <laughs> oh, Harry's flat. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I know. I still, I can fly it a bit slow now. This is really cool. That yeah. one. All right, I'll go get it. Oh. 
want to say too, that had 45s on there, so Cyclone 45s. So they're probably the most gentle, less aggressive prop you can get. So well, if I, you think that was fast, you could definitely stick on some monster props on there and go a lot quicker. The only problem I can see with this is uh, getting hold of one because I reckon they're going to be out of stock real quick. So, um, all right, let's talk about things you like, things you want to improve, all that sort of stuff. Things I like. Everything. I, I look, I can't find a negative thing about this. I, it just, it looks good. Oh, I suppose the antenna's a bit long. You know what, that's, what, that's actually something I think as well. I'm probably gonna redo this and just have my antenna sticking out the back a little bit and zip tie yeah, it Yeah, I think just a little tiny one there would be nice. Yep. Uh, I love the camera protection. Look, the quality of the camera was excellent. Uh, no dropouts. It just went nice, and it's nice, neat little build again. And gee, you're not going to break that, are you? I want to know about it. if you can break one of those. You have to run over it with a semi. You can't go wrong here. Uh, what is Grumpy Trams rating out of ten? So in terms of freestyle, so because I don't think it's made for racing. There, there is quicker quads out there, but what would you say in terms of freestyle performance out of 10? Oh, I've got to give it a 10. Okay. No, no issue or buts about that. All right, and who do you think it's made for? Anyone that wants to have fun. <laughs> okay. I mean, if you're serious about a good quad and something's not going to break, um, even if you're new to the game, like, a great quad to start because you're going to find it really hard to break something like this. And if you do break it, uh, there's a... A lifetime warranty on the frame, isn't it? So, so yeah, well, oh, it, actually, I think everything. Yeah, and uh, yeah. All right, and what about value for money? Because it's coming in. I think at I think it's around a hundred and nine dollars. I'll put it on the screen anyway. We might have to wait. We've got a huge train going past. It's gone. All right, so value for money, Trev, about a hundred and nine dollars. What do you reckon? Out of ten. Well, for the quality of the frame and look, this is a ten out of ten. I'm going to have it two tens. I haven't done that for a long time, but. Uh, it's an Armiton. It's got a great warranty. The frame looks absolutely unbelievable. All right. No, it sounds like you're a fan. Yeah. Do you want this back? Yes. I definitely do. All right, I'm just going to take it now. All right. That sucks. Thanks. Pretty long range, Tony. So you've seen the Armiton ripping a few packs. What's your first impressions? Oh, look, I've seen some reviews and people talk it up, but seeing it firsthand, it's really clean. I love the carbon. I like the, uh, the single plate for the bottom. It's got really nice... Um, chamfered edges the, the weave looks really nice um, really nice and shiny titanium camera hatch on the front um, my only negative I think would be the the, the antenna on the back I don't yep. know if that's yours Stu but, yeah I have I've smashed but, it up a few I was trying but, to come backwards to a but few I think, main um, sort of stuff probably a um, MMCX I think would be a lot neater on there yep um, other than that I think I agree with Trev it looks magic you know you are it's also a little bit longer than the rooster too. Yeah, like I tend to fly quite a lot with 1500s, so that length of uh, top plate's really good. You've got an old chameleon down there. I, I have got a chameleon too. down there, yeah. I, I've had a couple of chameleons. And, Where's your and, rooster? Did you have a rooster? I did have a rooster. Thanks, what happened to it? Thanks for bringing it up. It might be stuck on the top of a cement silo somewhere All right. if someone wants to go and get it back for me. <laughs> okay. All right, let's do it. Let's plug it in and right. go for a rip. Okay. Hey. <laughs> All right, how is it? Oh, I remember you have lo much lower rates than me. Man, it's very, what a great tune on it. Goes exactly where you point it, doesn't it? And there's no bounce back on the tune. Lots of kick, no prop wash. Yeah, I reckon if you were doing some nice freestyle, very, very smooth, and I'm not the smoothest of pilots, as Stuart knows. But yeah, no, this is really nice. Um, it does draw a lot of current. 2306, uh, 2400 motors. Yep. Plenty of punch. And you just clipped a tree. And I did just clip a tree, you see, and it's still going. Yeah, no, this is uh, super smooth. What's the price on it, Stu? It is 109. This is for the frame? Yep. What about um, the whole thing? I don't know. For buying and flies, I can't. I'd, I'd put, I'll put it on the screen. Now, you've got quite a few few drones on there and I'm sure I can already guess your answer because I can see an acro brat I can see a chameleon you've had a rooster so what's your thoughts on one of these premium frames and the price of this uh, and what you get look I've bought a lot of the gap RC frames in the past from bangers um, but every time I bought a, an Armiton frame I've loved it um, except when I've lost one 
Um, but I, they're great, great quality, um, good value for money. And like, like you said before, the lifetime warranty on the frames is, is great because you can give it hell and know that if you snap something, you can just go and do a warranty. And I have had to do that on a chameleon and uh, their service was amazing at Armiton. So it would, um, by the time you snap a frame and get a second one, um, fix it up, it makes the investment worthwhile. And you do pay a slight premium, but it's about the features you get for that premium. And I think it makes an Armiton frame well worth the money. Man, this is really smooth. Sum it up, Tony. Um, you got to give it back. I want more flights. No, no, you're not having it back. Um, it's going to well, foul safe over my house. You're going to have to fight Trevor for it too. No, I um, look. I think for what for what I use it for, it's um, exactly right. And I think if I put some decent rates on it, Stuart, it'd be perfect. What, not my baby rates. No, you got baby rates. All right. Yeah, it's super. I love this. Um, I want one. <laughs> now you've just spent another hundred and ten dollars of my money. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, brother. All right. Well, I'm going right. to leave you finish that pack. Thanks, mate. Thanks, Tony. Granger's setting up a little track over there and here's the joke we're going to play so I've got his pair of fat sharks right here we're going to take them apart and then I'm going to throw him this empty shell as he watches and he thinks his dominators are smashing into the ground so let's do that hey Granger do you want your goggles now or over there all right <laughs> Did your heart stop for at least half a second? Still a second. Okay, well we... You're not that dog, so... Yeah. There's no way you're actually going to throw me the dog. So. Alright, nice. Keep setting up, apprentice. Also too, Granger, I think this looks like garbage. What is this track? You look like garbage. Alright. <laughs> Alrighty, Granger. So what we've got here, the Armiton Mammut Mama. I don't actually know how to say it. It reminds me of Vegemite or Marmite. <laughs> But uh, what are your first impressions? We're all strapped up, ready to rock and roll. Uh, me personally, I just thought it was a skinny rooster. Like I looked at it and yeah, it just looks like a skinny rooster. Yep. Um, it looks very well designed like all of their frames. Very strong. Uh, the front, I'm guessing that's titanium. Yep, it is. There's some, a few little differences because I don't know how much you've seen on it too. It's also a little bit longer <coughs> than the rooster and they've done some like uh, special mounting I guess you can see there with the three oh, yeah. on there at the front. So you can adjust that to any angle that you want. That's awesome. I didn't know about that. So they're always coming out with some uh, new technology. Oh, and like the that. big one too, this carbon. So uh, give that a flex. Tell me what you think. Weird flex, but okay. Snap. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this carbon here, that's actually like recycled, recycled space carbon. So it's made in the USA. Uh, yeah, cut over there. And yeah, it's just pretty much very, very strong stuff. But you wouldn't expect anything less from Armitage nah, because if you break quality, it, they're going yeah. to replace it. So, all right. So any any final first impression before we take it out and rip it around? It just looks very strong and looks like the best beginner quad frame. So What do you mean by that? Why do you say best it, beginner quad because frame? Because I feel like you could smack this in the ground very hard and not break it. And also they have the replacement program, which is awesome. So, yeah, I always recommend Armitage products for beginners because they're just so strong. All right, nice. Let's do it. Yeah. First impressions. Feels very smooth for the tune. This is one of their bind and flies as well. Oh, so this is bind and flies. So this yeah. is what people are gonna get. Uh, yeah, I guess so if they buy one of these, yeah. Alright. Uh, lots of power for a freestyle quad, so I don't think that's gonna be an issue for you. Very poppy. The tune's very nice. I do notice every uh, bind and fly they give you is very nicely tuned, so if you're not much of a tuner yourself, definitely get one because the tune is very nice. Yeah, I would feel very comfortable taking this to like a concrete bando. This is probably going to be your strongest frame. Um, you could smack the concrete very hard with this and I, I highly doubt it's going to break. I mean, your GoPro is definitely going to break before your, the frame does at least. And also, if you do somehow manage to break it, um, you're going to get that replacement program, which is absolutely unreal in my opinion. You're kind of doing some tight little race in there, mate. This is meant to be a... A freestyle, what are you doing? I don't know, I just, every time I fly a drone, I feel like I need to race it. <laughs> Alright, no way. I don't even know where you're going. What was that trick? A uh, Rubik's Cube. Okay. So, Granger, impressions on the Armiton Mamu. 109 bucks. For the frame? Yeah. I think it's uh, really good for the money. Um, it's probably one of the top, uh, top tier frames, in my opinion. Um, it, this frame is for everyone. You can have professional pilots, you can have beginner pilots. It's just good for everyone. 
As for racing, it's definitely not for racing. It's more of a freestyle frame. Yeah, and so what makes you say that? It, it's just a bit too heavy. I mean, maybe you could slap some heavy, uh, faster motors on it, but I just don't think you're going to be completing as many laps as other people will with, say, such as a Motu Ghost or something like, like yeah. that. Amazing. All right, no worries. I quite All like right. it. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down. Granger, what do we got? Thumbs up. You can't go wrong. Hey, you got to so. give me a thumbs up, mate. Okay, I'm getting scared. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thanks mate. No worries. Radio, so there it is. There's my part two review of the Armiton Ma Mammut, well, whatever. The Armiton Mammut. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. And overall, it is a work of art. I wouldn't expect anything less from Armiton. They make amazing stuff and they just take it up each time. It seems to be. They always step it up to the next level. What they're doing with the carbon, how you can move the camera, it really is designed for you freestyle pilots out there. You want a quad, it can take a beating, you've got a lifetime warranty. It's just, uh, it's kind of, it's it's very hard to beat. So that's why it is an absolutely beautiful frame and Trevor gave it such high scores. All the boys loved it. Armiton didn't get where they are by sitting on their hands. They always work, they always innovate. And probably my favorite part for me, they're in it for the pilots, you know, with those warranties. They need to make sure that they're strong. They really look after their customers. I'm going to put a little poll up here, you know, feel free to answer that. Have you heard good things or bad things about Armiton? And I'm sure the results will speak for himself. Other than that, subscribe for more FPV related content. I'll put the links down below to the Bino Fly and also the frame. Definitely, if you're getting into the hobby or you just want something that can take a beating or push your freestyle to the next level, this is an amazing frame. So go check that out. And a huge shout out too for giving us another one to give away from Armiton. So yeah, for you subscribers, we've got another one to giveaway which is just a, a bit of a bonus so big shout out to the boys over at armiton other than that subscribe for more fpv related action and as always and i'm going to say too i'm a bit annoyed at how good ranger is at freestyle it's so frustrating that kid seems to be too good at racing too good at freestyle but other than that subscribe for more fpv related content and as always happy flying